AFLW heavyweights Brisbane moved into top four by defeating Sydney by 55 points. The second highest score in club's history. Courtney Hodder and Sophie Conway scored three goals each in the Lions' 14.3 to 4.8 victory in Springfield. Last season's beaten grand finalists followed up their shock first round defeat to Richmond with convincing wins over Port Adelaide and the Swans for a combined total of 105 points. Their red hot form leads to a huge with unbeaten qualifying leaders North Melbourne in Launceston in. Round 4. Sydney's rough night away was made worse when former draft pick Montana Ham left the game in the third quarter with a foot injury. Ham had returned after missing the first two games of the season due to a stress reaction in his left foot. Ali Anderson and Orla Odweir were among Brisbane's best in a dominant team performance. Sydney's Laura Gardiner had a match-high 41 disposals and 9 tackles and Rebecca Privatelli kicked two goals for the visitors. The Lions established a solid platform with four unanswered goals in the opening period. They raced to a 320 lead before Ham briefly celebrated his return from injury with the Swans' first goal midway through the second quarter. Hodder responded with a superb strike from pocket and added another major two minutes later when he raced into the open goal his third in first half. Sydney struggled in third quarter and were poised to outscore Lions in period until Dakota Davidson produced a superb set-piece shot from byline. Traffic was one way in the last quarter. When Brisbane's rate went from 3.1 to 0.1, the Swans' score came from Chloe Malloy, who finished her 50th AFLW match with 0.4 points. The sun outshines the Magpies at Victoria Park Gold Coast cemented their place in the AFLW top. Eight with a hard-fought win against Collingwood at Victoria Park. Two final quarter strikes from AFLW leading goalscorer Jamie Stanton gave the Gold Coast a Hard-fought 12-point victory over Rebel Collingwood. Stanton finished season with three goals, taking his tally to 10 for the season. In Suns' 5.3 to 2.9 victory at Victoria Park, following West Coast's record-breaking second-round win, Suns improved their record to 21 as they earned a spot in finals for first time since cancelled 2020 season. Stanton shone in attack and Lauren Ahrens stood tall in defense, as Lucy Single played a disciplined tracking role to limit the impact of Collingwood star Brie Davy. Claudia Whitford, Charlie Robottom and Elizabeth Keeney were also effective for the Suns. Collingwood star Brittany Benici had a match-high 19 disposals in her 50th AFLW match and Sarah Rowe was also busy. Davy who finished match with 16 touches and 7 shots, scored only goal of first term to give Magpies a 1.3 to 0.1 lead in quarter. The Suns' first major came seconds after the restart when Stanton converted a free kick and Jacqueline Depay added another free kick shortly after. Collingwood dominated county play for long periods b.